To write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus HNO2, that's potassium hydroxide plus nitrous acid, we first balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. The next thing we need to do is write the state for each substance. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. We have potassium here in the front, group one element. That's going to be aqueous. We have nitrous acid. That's going to be aqueous, but we need to keep in mind it's a weak acid. Potassium compound here, again, attached to this nitrite. That'll dissolve, dissociate. And then with water, that's a liquid. So at this point, we have our states. We need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So we're looking for the strong electrolytes, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. With acids and bases, this is probably a good table to memorize. So as we look at the table, KOH, that's right here. That's a strong base. It's going to dissociate into its ions completely. So on the periodic table, K, that's in group 1. Potassium is group 1, 1 plus, And then the whole hydroxide ion has a negative charge. For HNO2, we don't see that on our list of strong acids. It starts with an H, so we would think it's an acid. We don't see it on our list of strong acids. So that's going to be a weak acid. Because of that, this won't dissociate. We can't split this apart into its ions. It only dissociates just a little bit because it's a weak acid. So for the reactants, we have K plus, and I'll write the states at the end, plus the hydroxide, OH minus, and then this weak electrolyte, we don't split those apart in net ionic equations, HNO2. Those are the reactants. Products, we have a positive, the nitrite ion is negative, so we'll have K plus, because this is a strong electrolyte, has that group one metal there in the front, plus the nitrite ion, NO2 minus, and we don't split water apart in net ionic equations either. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I'm looking for something that's the same in the reactants and the products. The only thing I see is this potassium ion. So I can cross that out. Everything else, it's unique. And that is the net ionic equation for KOH plus HNO2. Let me clean it up and add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus nitrous acid. We have charge conserved. We have in the reactants a negative charge and just one negative in the products. And then if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same. Each type of atom will be the same on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus HNO2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.